Hey, Grant Massey here with the Massey Group. First of all, I hope everyone is safe and you have uh, loved ones that are safe as well and you're not going uh, too sane in your home. Also, if you have young kids like we do, oh man, my heart goes out to you as well. It, uh, it's been uh, a little crazy in our household, but uh, a lot of fun also being at home and getting to enjoy a lot of time with our kiddos. So anyway, with that said, I thought it'd be kind of fun to start sending out some videos and kind of giving you guys some updates as we obviously learn more. Like everyone's job, uh, our job has been affected, and I thought it'd be kind of fun to dive in a little bit versus doing a MailChimp newsletter this month and kind of give you guys updates uh, about what we're seeing and what we're not seeing. So here's kind of my quick take, too, and what I think the real estate market is going to do and, and how we're positioned, which I think is, is a half-glass-full outlook, definitely, but uh, I wanted to kind of pass along my thoughts as well. You can take it. Uh, uh, and kind of pass along to your friends or uh, you can read into it and disagree with me. But here's kind of what I think. So obviously tracking the last uh, week or so since we've all been kind of in a shelter lockdown, progressed that way at least, obviously our petting sales have dropped drastically in the local Portland market. Uh, that's going to change as uh, those restrictions are lifted down the road, but that's uh, no question the us know is that could be weeks is that could be months um, but we're in a position where we've still got low inventory obviously and a lot of those seasonal sellers are going to be ready to go as soon as this all uh, adjusts and hopefully we've been able to flatten the curve here locally um, with the healthcare system and their capability so uh, and that's obviously most important I mean everything else takes a back burner of course so as we start to see that curve flatten we go back to normal here uh, I think we're going to start to see with the low rates, I think we'll, we'll jump right back into a crazy market. And the silver lining also is that unlike if you go back and look at the market data from 2008 to really 2011, we had 15 to 19 months of inventory, which is insane. Now we still have only, only under two months and you had people that had subprime mortgages, that had no equity positions in their homes, and that created a really, really vulnerable housing market. Well, the last 10 years, we have everyone who's super qualified, putting 5, 10, 20% down. A lot, of, a lot of people actually own their homes outright more than we've ever seen. Um, so as you know, we start to see, obviously, unfortunately, the, the, the job loss and things, the, the hardships that will, will inevitably happen, of course, with a situation like this, I do think people are going to be in a position where hopefully they're not underwater and they can sell, move into a, a, you know, a, a, a rental that works for them or whatever their situation will hopefully better lead them uh, but with that said they shouldn't be underwater so uh, hopefully we're not going to see that big uh, you know uh, this roll into a big housing crisis just with given low inventory low rates people's equity position so just food for thought and kind of my thought is you know if we're a couple months here and we're back you know uh, uh, in the, and the economy's back rolling uh, and people do kind of start from businesses start to fire back up. I, I do think that the real estate market should kind of continue to uh, progress forward. And so there's opportunity as well um, for buyers out there. I mean, there's still ways to view property. Javon is going to send a video or buyers agent and talk to you about how they're taking the appropriate safety protocol uh, and what they're doing to get clients that you know still have to, to buy a house. Or, I mean, there are people uh, that are you know have to buy a home right now, and there are people that have to sell a home. So that's kind of driving the market right now and um, there's also things that we can offer our sellers uh, including virtual walkthroughs a company called Mataport that our photographer uses where uh, we can you know uh, kind of uh, tweak it to where um, a buyer can write an offer subject to interior inspection and then they can walk through using the 3D walkthrough with Matterport, which is essentially you take your browser and you just scroll through the home and it walks you through the entire house so you don't even need to see it, but you write an offer and write it uh, you know, um, subject to seeing the inside uh, so that you still have that out and you can get your earnest money back you know, once you actually do get to see it through the home inspection. And uh, Which also reminds me, home inspectors are still working. They're taking all the protocol that they need to. We've still got a couple ongoing transactions, so we have contractors coming in and out. Everyone's being very safe. We're trying to create as little contact as possible uh, if homes are occupied because um, obviously safety is the most important thing, and so we're all kind of trying to uh, adjust and, and figure out how all this works as we go like everyone else is in every industry. So anyway, with that said, I just wanted to kind of roll out that quick update. I'm going to have some more coming. Uh, Giovanna will also post a quick uh, uh, video here shortly. But if you guys have questions for us at all too, uh, feel free to reach out and let me know. But uh, I wish everyone, um, hopefully, you know, uh, 
uh, you're not going insane. Hopefully you've got stuff to do. And hopefully if you have any family or friendly that has been affected by, um, you know, this unfortunate event, uh, my, our hearts and, uh, and prayers and wishes go out to you guys. So anyway, I uh, hope you're all well, stay sane, and I'll talk to you here on the next one of these fun video updates. All right, bye-bye.